We are absolutely delighted to be offering a number of wonderful works in our upcoming May post-war and contemporary art sale. I absolutely love this work by Peter Halley, entitled Red Prison. Peter Halley was a seminal figure in the East Village in the 1980s. Halley is a born and bred New Yorker and was really influenced by the urban grid-like environment that he grew up in. He strove to explore the grid-like geometric plan of the city, the high skyscrapers, the long streets that he saw in real life onto the canvas. These contrasting colors of the bright pink, the orange and the yellow seem to challenge each other for space on the canvas. It's an incredible work by a phenomenal artist whose works are instantly recognizable. Highlighting our sale, is a beautiful portrait of Alex Katz's wife, Ada, entitled Ada in Spain. Throughout his career, Katz painted what was around him. This piece portrays Ada seemingly in a perfect day, with the sun on her shoulders, the breeze behind her hair, seemingly on vacation in Spain. Painted in 1981, it's a phenomenal example of his use of color, line, and shadow. Here, he's harnessing pop and advertisement imagery, as well as the flatness that the abstract expressionists tried to strive towards. This work, is a love letter to Ada. Created in 1968 and entitled M77, this is really an exquisite work by an artist who was a central figure to the op art movement. The composition of this work is typical of Fangor. This palpable, pulsating iris draws in the viewer while also almost seeming to burst out from the canvas. This work by Alfred Jensen is a masterwork from an artist at the height of his career. The textures are rich, this thick impasto, actively pushed down by the knife palette work of the artist. There's this real back and forth between the viewer and the work. It was at this point that the artist was really creating his own motifs and language. These texts, these hieroglyphics, remain unknown to us as the viewer. This is Sean Scully's monumental work entitled Green Light from 1972. 1972 was a pivotal year for the artist. It was in this period that he began to experiment with a lot of unorthodox materials, spray paint, tape, and other different mediums. In this work, we can see his use of tape to create the long bands that are repeated throughout the work, creating this grid-like form. It really shows a snapshot of an artist finding his voice through scale, light and colour. We look forward to seeing you for viewing of our post-war and contemporary art sale here in our galleries in New York.